Welcome back to this channel. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Let's move on to the news. On the Oni of Ife and his sisters disgrace Olori Naomi publicly. We all know that Naomi used to be the wife of the Oni of Ife, Adeyeye Enito Ogunwusi. He is a paramount ruler. Well, we can recall that the Olori, Olori Naomi, she came out on social media to announce that split. She said that they are separated and she has left the palace. That it was God's doing. That God brought her in there for some time and that it's time for her to leave. She quoted some Bible verse because we all know she's a prophetess. She came out to say she's a prophetess. And we know that it came as a really big shock to everyone. Because nobody expected her to come on social media to publicly out our separation. And it was really big. It was something that was shocking. It shook the palace. And we all saw how everything we played. We all saw the interview. To the extent that BBC interviewed the Olori. And also interviewed the O'Neill of Ife. And even when they interviewed the owner of Ife, he didn't say much. He refused to talk about everything because we know that what stays, what goes on in the palace stays in the palace. Now don't reveal anything that goes uh, goes on in the palace because that place is a sacred place. Things are not meant to come out. Things are not meant to be said. And we know that the owner of Ife will have advisors that will tell him, look, your reputation is at stake. You have a reputation to keep. To not just go and view everything and engage engage in social media battle with the ex queen, and we all know the owner of Ife didn't say anything. He just said that the truth will be revealed very soon, and that um, she said that he's two faced. We can recall that she said that he is two faced, and she specifically said that it is not because of the new woman of the owner of Ife. But that she is done and he, the, the, it's the only of Ife is not like how he, he appears to be. We can also remember that one of the ex-queens who ran away is a doe wife, the one for Bini. She said that the only of Ife sometimes threatens her with juju, with, um, we all know that obviously the owner of Ife is a traditional worshipper. He he tells her that he is immortal and that he is guarded, that he's going to do with her using his traditional powers. And we don't know what is what goes on or what is true or not. But we all know that the ex-queen is no longer in the palace and she celebrated her twenty ninth birthday recently and we all saw that the Onyo of Ife didn't even wish her happy birthday. And people were shocked shocked because of her age, because she's just 29. And people thought she was going to be in her late 30s and all, but they were shocked at how young she still is. And we all know that and the Onyo of Ife are not on good terms. Everyone saw the post on social media. Everyone saw that he didn't even wish her happy birthday and we saw the way she just came out publicly and announced that split that they've splitted up well the um olori is someone that always wants her mom to be with her her mom was always be with her and according to some sources they said that there was this project that the only of ife gave olori naomi's brother which did not go well, it didn't go down well. So I think that must have caused a little bit of like conflict between them. And we have been hearing things. We have been hearing things like people talk. And um we heard that she is she wants to go back to the palace and she is regretting her actions. We do not know if how true that is but thus is people have been saying it that she regrets her action she wants to go back she wants to turn a new leaf and 
she just wants to go back and we all know that for her to go back she has to drop a religion because if you're going to enter a palace he is the only of ife we all know that if a traditional worship is a traditional rulers she needs to drop a prophetess title because she will have to undergo certain rituals certain rites before she can be allowed back into the palace well he also didn't he wish her happy birthday on her birthday and instead of wishing her he posted a young child and everyone started talking and that was naomi's son's sister one of his daughters although he didn't post the face of the mother he only posted her and people have been saying that naomi has opened the door for the king to have more children and it was only one person who wished naomi happy birthday and that was the person she got to know from the Onyo of Ife. And she is called Prophetess Olubori. Um, she's one of the people who came out on social media to wish the Olori happy birthday. Well, according to sources, the sisters do not want her to return. They are not happy with her and what she did because this is somebody that publicly came out on social media to say she's no longer with the only of Ife. If she should have left peacefully without any drama, without coming out to take to make such decision, maybe the only of Ife would have wanted her back if he really does love her. But she went ahead to, to announce it to everyone. She made it a public thing. And we all know that the only of Ife and the palace is something that is private. So for her to come out and just disclose everything and say, oh, this is the reason why I left the Onyo of Ife. It's like this, it's like that and all. This didn't sit well with the palace. It didn't sit well with the Oni of Ife. It also didn't sit well with his sisters because the sisters have said that over their dead body, would they allow Olori Naomi to return back to the palace? People are talking, there are people saying things, they do not want her to return to the palace because they feel that she isn't meant to be there. For her to live in the first place, for her to publicly go and cast their brother. Well, it was a wrong move for the ex-queen to just come out and say they're no more together. This is something that should be private. You should try and resolve marital issues privately. It's not something that should be coming on social media. And especially if you're a queen. You are not just any person. You're not just normal, like normal people. You're not just an ordinary person. You're a queen. So you should have, she should have done it in such a way. Like she should just have, should have just left the palace quietly without any drama. Because now there is drama surrounding her. There is drama surrounding the whole issue and the sisters have decided that they do not want her for their brother and they would not stop until she leaves their brother alone because people are saying that oh she wants to go back she's regretting and all and some people have tagged her a gold digger saying that she went there for money purposes and at the end of the day since she didn't get the money she decided to leave the only of ife but we don't know the reason why their marriage ended because the only of Ife is also a private person. And I don't think we cannot fault the only of Ife for not wishing happy birthday because he is hurt. You cannot just come out publicly and drag my name in the mud and expect me to now wish you happy birthday. So basically, I think they would have advised him to just keep calm, stay quiet. And many people are thinking that, oh, maybe he should have just wished her happy birthday. It's a certain certain kind of maturity. But you can't tell someone that his ego has been bruised and his heart to just go immediately and wish somebody that publicly came on social media to just say their marriage has ended. Well, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to get more fresh updates from us. To our loyal supporters, we love you. Continue to share our channels. Continue to listen. Thank you.